Generally, when we're talking about head and neck cancer, we're talking about cancers that arise somewhere from the bottom or the base of the skull to the top of the collarbones. Most people think about this as being cancers of the mouth or throat, but there's also a variety of other sites where head and neck cancers can occur. Uh, salivary glands, sinuses, uh, skin, uh, thyroid, uh, esophagus. So it's largely considered a very complex site. The usual treatment course for head and neck cancer is largely determined by the location and the sensitivity of that particular cancer cell type to chemotherapy and radiation. Patients with earlier stage disease may be suitable for treatment with a single modality, meaning one type of treatment, either surgery or radiation. Patients with more advanced tumors will require a combination of treatment, surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and some combination. So patients where surgery may be felt to be, have a large impact on quality of life or patient function like speech, swallowing, and voice may be better suited for radiation-based approach with the hope to preserve the organ and its functions. Proton therapy for head and neck cancers is unique in that it can deliver a more conformal and more compact dose distribution compared to x-ray-based treatments. This is incredibly important because the head and neck is a compact, complex area that contains organs critical for, for many functions. Proton therapy can improve the therapeutic profile by reducing the unnecessary radiation and reducing the side effects that come with that. So the goal of proton therapy within our program is to maintain the expected cure rates while reducing the short-term and long-term side effects and by improving quality of life.